Hello and welcome to the third practical video of this course. Today we will set up the dashboard time window and explore its functionality in more details. So without further ado, let's get started. The time window is a tool used to define time intervals when working with telemetry data. It is by default used by time series and alarm widgets, unless they are configured to use their own time window. The time window can work in two modes. In the real-time mode, widgets constantly receive updates from the server and automatically show you only the data that matches the time window for a current timestamp. In the history mode, widgets display the data only during the initial selected period and don't update automatically. Then, there are key parameters of the time window. The last parameter displays real-time data for a specified interval. For example, the last five minutes, the last hour, or 12 hours. The range displays data for a fixed period, such as from November 4th to November 5th. And the relative uses predefined intervals, such as the current day, the previous day, or the previous month. Next, there are aggregation functions, which are useful when you do not want to retrieve all raw time series data, but prefer to pre-aggregate it at the database level. For example, they help display the minimal or maximum values, calculate the average values, or summarize them. The function called none is used to turn off the aggregation. We recommend using aggregation functions whenever possible if you have a lot of incoming telemetry values. The next section is the grouping interval, which is available only when the aggregation function is also chosen. It helps to group data using aggregation within a defined period and provides a more structured and convenient approach to handling large volumes of data. Finally, there is a time zone setting that aligns the time window with the user's local time. You can also customize the time window for the end user by hiding certain configuration elements. For example, you can choose the list of intervals that users will be able to select from on the UI. For each interval, you can set the available periods by which the data will be aggregated and even the default interval, which will be automatically displayed. The same approach works for aggregation functions. You can choose the list of available functions or hide their selection from users and set the default one. Similarly, based on your previous configurations, you can turn off custom grouping interval selection, set the default grouping interval, or hide the grouping interval selection altogether. Let's set up our time window. The summarized telemetry values will be grouped by hour and displayed for either the current day or the week, depending on your choice. To do this, enter the dashboard edit mode. Select the edit time window icon on the toolbar and then select the gear icon to open the time window settings. Start with the real time tab. Hide the interval selection for the last tab. On the relative tab, Select the pencil icon in the interval settings row. Uncheck all intervals. Then, select the current day, then the current week from Sunday to Saturday, and the current week from Monday to Sunday. Set their grouping interval and default grouping interval to one hour as showed in the video. Select Apply. Now configure the History tab. Hide the last and range interval options from users. 
For the Relative tab, leave the default settings. Open the Aggregation settings. Uncheck all function except for the sum. And hide the change of this parameter from users. Set the grouping interval to 1 hour. And hide the change in this parameter. Select Apply. Select Update and save your dashboard. As you can see, the Office Sensors List widget now displays energy and water consumption data for the selected time period, which in our case is either the current day or the current week. This configuration ensures that all widgets using the dashboard's time window will show the aggregated telemetry values grouped by the hour. In the next lesson, you will learn how to display devices on the Office Plan widget, customize its appearance with code, and add new types of attributes. But for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.